don't know what's going on. But we have a new arcade stick to look at. Um, I got, I got some. I won't say it was insider information months ago, but I was told by someone who knows a lot of the hoary things that are coming to market way early, like super early. Like I knew that there was going to be a Tekken hoary rap alpha before it was on like the Japanese sites. Cause I have a friend who like kind of clues me and he's like, dude, I like your arcade stick stuff. I'm in the East. Would you like to know when stuff comes early? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like very broken English. Right. And it's okay. Like I appreciate the guy for like, Maybe sticking his neck. I don't know how he knows this stuff, but I had said a few months back, maybe, maybe it was already, maybe it was even before Street Fighter Six launched, or like right around the time of launch. I was like, it's very unfortunate that Street Fighter Six is coming to market, Mortal Kombat shortly after, and the cheapest arcade stick we have right now on market is like a hundred and fifty dollars for the PS Five. It's like the Combo Drone Two or whatever. That's like a hundred and twenty four ninety nine on the Combo website, one hundred and forty nine ninety nine on Amazon, right with free shipping. So, um. Let's say with shipping from Combo, it probably cost you another maybe fourteen, fifteen dollars, getting closer to one forty plus the tax. Let's just call it one fifty, one sixty, right? Um, we didn't have anything under a hundred dollars for this generation for arcade sticks when it came to brand new entry level arcade sticks, and I thought it sucked. And what I mentioned was I mentioned the fact that we used to have a mini Hori arcade stick and a mini Hori controller. It was like a little tiny Hori pad, and it was super cute and small. And it was like twenty dollars or something, and it was wired, of course. And it had all the, it was full featured, except for the fact they didn't have a touchpad and it had a little touchpad button. And I was saying, well, they could just take that same concept and uh, make it a new st stick, right? For the PS5. There's no reason why they couldn't make a new Hori Fighting Stick Mini for the PS5. And they're doing exactly that. So let me pull up this list and let me turn back on the tunes. First, let's find, um, let's find the themes. There we go. I think we got the themes going. Yeah, we got the themes going. Let's, let's pull it up. Here it is. I already had it open and available and ready because I was told about it. And I was like, let me check on this shit. And I saw it at work and I was like, yes, I've been vindicated. I'm so fucking happy. I'm a big fan of cheap arcade sticks. I don't know if you guys have noticed, uh, but two of the most recent arcade stick videos on the channel, other than the Victrix ones, have been of cheaper arcade sticks. I was talking about the Abito Xbox One stick slash Xbox Series stick. Um... I got it specifically to review it for the channel. I use it every now and then. I don't dislike it. It's a cool little stick. I mainly have it because there's an Xbox in the living room. Marianne's on it right now, probably playing Fortnite. And just in case she ever like wants to use an arcade stick, she could. Just in case I want to play anything on Xbox that's like a fighting game, I don't think I would need to. I think every fighting game now is like on PC as well. But just in case, you know, I have a brand new Xbox arcade stick, just I have a brand new PS5 stick. And it was the cheapest one on market. So I was like, okay, let's get the cheapest available Xbox One slash Xbox Series arcade stick and check it out. Let's see how let's see how it is. Let's see if it's worth the worth the time invested, worth the money. Uh, and we didn't have anything super cheap on the PlayStation side, right? I'm a PC player. I can use literally whatever. It doesn't matter. I think I looked at the Mayflash F101 because it does work on here. It is, by the way. Uh, it does work on PC. So this is like the cheapest non-proprietary PC arcade stick. Uh, so you, this isn't as good. I'll admit that right now. Okay, I'm I down talk the Hori Fighting Stick Mini a lot, and the reason why is because it's proprietary hardware. It's like my good old pre-built PC right here. If this thing starts to give me issues, it goes in the fucking trash, or I sell it off real cheap because of the fact that it's proprietary hardware. There's a lot of things in this PC that are very hard to replace: the motherboard, the case, the I/O is connected to the motherboard, and the power supply. Right, like those are very crucial components. Uh, and it uses non-standard mounting hardware. It uses Intel mounting hardware on a Ryzen CPU. Very strange, right? So a lot of these things are weird. Proprietary, as it were. Hard to replace. And I say the same thing about the Hori Fighting Stick Mini. But for the price, right? Especially when it comes to the entry level. When it comes to barely getting into arcade sticks. Barely getting into finding out if you want to try this peripheral. I like the idea of having something cheap to get in on the ground floor. And when I said that we should get another Hori Fighting Stick Mini. Like a Hori Fighting Stick Mini 5 for the PS5. Because I believe the one for the 4 was called the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 4. I, I assumed it would be pretty pricey. I thought it would maybe be about 80 to 90 bucks, but at least it would be under $100. Like, Hori would be upcharging. They'd be charging that PS5 tax. Maybe the licensing is really expensive. Maybe the part sourcing is expensive now. I don't know. I'm not an insider like that. I don't know how any of that stuff works. I don't know if they're just trying to make more money, right? Selling their RK6 way cheaper than they, way more expensive than they have to, like the Combo Obsidian 2. But what I do know. This is coming in at 
that's like ten dollars more than the ps4 version that's actually relatively reasonable now when we look at the body i can tell you a few things about it i can't see all of the functionality right i see uh this picture is very odd because it seems to be missing buttons but when we look at this picture we see four buttons uh if i were to take a guess at the four buttons on the top uh my guesses would be It'd be, it'd be PlayStation, it'd be Options and Share, L3 and R3. I can't really see that. Uh, it looks like I'm right. I can't see those. And then that's a slider for PS4, PS5, PC, which is cool. Uh, that means it's going to have probably like some form of uh, PCB switching for like native X input. So it's not registering funky on a PC, which is cool because Steam's been telling me that my controllers are only partially compatible with most of their games now. I don't know why they never told me that before ps4 controllers and ps4 arcade sticks have been not giving me issues but at least telling me that it's kind of strange uh so this having native uh x input support probably is really cool it's coming out january 18th i don't think i mentioned the release date that's really close here that's like right around the time that tekken 8 is releasing it seems a little strange that they waited and waited so long Maybe they were trying to, you know, spruce up the design, see if they could come up with something cool, something new. But instead, they were like, yeah, let's just go with the tried and true. Fuck it. Like, just make it make it white. Right? Because the fighting stick mini for the PS3 either came in purple or black with red buttons. And the purple one came with black buttons. The PS4 one was black with black buttons. And the Switch one was gray with black buttons. And then they also had a Street Fighter third, they had two Street Fighter third strike minis one was chun li one was ryu maybe it was chun li cami and ryu and ken something like that along those lines but this so far no design which is fine right these aren't really collector's pieces this is something that i like to say that this is purely entry level right you're gonna play on this until it breaks and you're either gonna say you know what i really liked arcade stick maybe i'll buy something better uh something a little less proprietary or, you know what, Arcade Stick totally wasn't for me, and I'm glad I didn't put $200, $300 into finding out if it is for me. People say that the more expensive Arcade Sticks, that they hold their value better and they're easier to sell. I'm going to let you know, I have like fucking 11 of them behind me. It's pretty hard to sell an Arcade Stick. Unless you are intrinsically deep into the fighting game community, you're not going to find a lot of normies looking to buy an Arcade Stick. You're going to find people who have no fucking idea what an Arcade Stick is, and they're like, what is that? Does it come with games? Is there games on it? Oh, is that like an arcade board? Like it's just stick you plug it into the ps5 like it's a normal never mind i'll just keep it fuck it you know that's that's kind of generally what happens when it comes to normies and um most different peripherals right something like an oculus or a, a meta whatever they're called the the vr headset same thing right the psvr uh same kind of feeling with an arcade stick trying to resell so i don't ever suggest that someone tries to resell one of these but if you have enough to afford a game you have enough to afford an arcade stick for the first time in a long time because generally arcade sticks especially the better ones thank you so much for the resub i appreciate that moonspire so most of the time arcade sticks are vastly more expensive than games that you play on them right because you can use them for so many more things you can use them for one game you can use them for two games you can use them for fighting games arcade shoot 'em ups beat 'em ups tons of different things right they are an extension they are an, an a luxury way to play the video game that does not need to exist you do not need i want to say this again for anyone who thinks i'm like one of those arcade stick shills i am but i will tell you now you do not need an arcade stick to play fighting games but if you are already eyeing them if you see people playing on them at your locals and they look super sick and you want to try one but you can't stomach that 150 dollars for a conba drone 2 or the 240 dollars 230 dollars for the titan the $210 for the Hori Fighting Stick Alpha. I have it down here. I don't feel like picking it up again. I have another YouTube video that still hasn't gone up on the channel that is talking about that arcade stick some more. Or the $400, $300 of the Conba Obsidian and the Victrix Pro, right? Those are really expensive arcade sticks. They're really expensive peripherals. They're not cheap. I'm not here to advocate for things being more expensive. I am here to advocate for paying, what you can, paying for what you can afford and understanding the quality that you're getting. And I say that because, like I said, these are not super high quality, amazing arcade sticks that are going to give you the greatest feeling when it comes to fighting games. But they will, they are an entry level way and you can like squeak right under, you know, you can just squeak right under there, under the under the $100 price tag. You can just hand someone a $100 bill, boom, get an arcade stick, get $30 back, $40 back, whatever. And then you have a way to experience these games in a way that you find 
hopefully more fun. The only reason why I felt like bringing this to people's attention is because I didn't see a tweet about this from Hori. I can open Hori's Twitter real quick. Let's see if I'm just, maybe I'm just wrong. Hori USA, I'm following them. Are they following me back though? They're not. Okay, I wanna show you what Hori's put up because I already knew this was coming out. They, they tweeted this November 17th. I knew about this in like, I think, I wanna say September. <laughs> this is the tweet they put out. November 17th. So last month they put out their new design for the Hori Fighting Stick Alpha for the for the for the Tekken 8 version, which is really cool. I think that's tight. This is a dope little arcade stick. A big fan of this arcade stick, I'm sure you guys know, and a big fan of this uh this artwork. Wow, cool. Tekken 8. Where is the um where's the advertising for the cheapest product you have that might get more people into the door finding out if they like arcade sticks or not? Now I'm not saying that they're not putting it up because they want people to buy the more expensive thing. But I'm saying I think it would probably be a good idea to register something to market something that more people might be able to afford. We're in a recession. I don't, maybe we're not. Maybe I'm just broke. Uh, but if the rest of you guys are broke too, we're in a recession. Shit's expensive, bro. People can barely afford their bills sometimes, let alone splurge for a $200 controller. Show, show more people this and maybe over the course of a couple months, they'll come back to you for another arcade stick later. That's better quality. Now, I know people who have minis who have had minis for like three years and they they work just fine and they, they're not broken and then i know people who said they have a mini and they bought it and it lasted them eight months ten months a year so the quality control on these things at least on the ps4 models if everything is the same on the inside we have something to worry about the quality control on these things isn't great it's not amazing but like i said it's just an entry level way into the door you get what you pay for <laughs> Basically, you get what you pay for, right? DualShock 4s, I'm sorry, yeah, DualShock 4s and DualSenses, when you use them for fighting games, they don't always last a long time. <laughs> they don't always last more than a year. They generally don't last more than a year. And so for that same price that you're paying for the DualSense, let me double check on the DualSense right now. I actually don't know how much the DualSense is. DualSense Edger controller? That's not what it's called. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking at that. I don't want to know what that is. I don't want to know what a DualSense Edger is, okay? Um, 70 bucks, right? $10 cheaper for the DualSense Edge. I'm sorry, for the Hori Fighting Stick Mini for the PS5 than the DualSense as Edge wireless controller. Now, of course, it has haptic feedback. It has a microphone and headphone jack built in. It's the official controller. You're going to be able to use it for more styles of games. But maybe you want to be able to give this controller a break. Maybe you play enough games on your regular controller that you don't want to fucking destroy it playing fighting games. Because a lot of people say that dual senses, Xbox controllers, even DualShock 4s, they don't last a super long time playing fighting games. And I I can kind of attest to that, right? When I played Dragon Ball, I played on pad. I didn't actually start playing Dragon Ball on stick. I didn't own a stick again until, or at least I didn't know I did. But I didn't own a, a major stick until uh, the Combo Obsidian 1. For, and I bought it right around the launch of Soul Calibur 6. Maybe, maybe like a week after. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm back. Let's buy a stick again, right? Um, and the problem is, when I played Dragon Ball, I owned three pads. And two of them got broken by me or my friends playing fighting games on my PS4 with my pads. And I'm not going to say that my friends are nice to their pads because I'm, I'm, I'm not. But these things aren't cheap, right? They're not. And because they're not cheap, you probably want to keep one separate that you're gonna be able to use for other games and then have a peripheral that you use for fighting games. Maybe, right? Maybe you just buy a higher quality controller so you don't have to worry about that. But that's not always a possibility, right? The most, the the if you wanna buy a higher quality PlayStation 5 controller, you're looking at the Victrix Pro BFG, which you can use for fighting games and shooting games and adventure games, arcade games, all that stuff because it has the different modules. And that's like 200 bucks, 170, 180. Or the DualSense Edge, which once again is like, let me look up the DualSense Edge. Not edge. There we go. All right, we're in there. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Pricey little controller. That thumbstick modules that can come out and you can replace them with new ones or whatever. If the thumbsticks start to get dripped, that's very cool. But the base package of it is very expensive, just like an arcade stick, right? So what about uh, if these uh, these membrane pads give out? You're shit out of luck. If those membrane pads go out, you have to go through the RMA process of re uh, refurbishing that controller, of getting new pads and getting them put in, unless you know how to do it yourself. It's awful it's terrible it sucks and most people don't want to do it so they end up just buying another 
whole controller. Because the repair process for a lot of these controllers, if you don't know someone who does it cheap or do it yourself, is very fucking expensive and generally not worth the time. Arcade sticks, not so much. The Hoy Fighting Stick Mini, yes, it will be a terrible RMA process. It's probably not worth fixing, just like a DualSense controller, just like an Xbox One controller. But generally, pads are way more expensive. So, it being so cheap is probably a good thing for everyone who's trying to get into arcade sticks. I'm not gonna from like i said earlier the quality control of these things last generation was pretty bad i know someone who still has one and they've had it since it launched so they've had it since like 2017 that's a long fucking time that's six years but they don't they're not avidly playing fighting games right they play fighting games every now and then once a week once every two weeks if you're playing on this thing every single fucking day maybe it only lasts you six months but by then you should know if you are a big fan of fighting games or not on an arcade stick and if you want to continue to play this genre on arcade stick in which case you can go ahead and pick up yourself something better something stronger something more sturdy and durable that will last you for years years when i say years i mean an arcade stick can last an entire console generation if a button breaks you just pop out the button and put in a new button it's that easy cost you a couple bucks at most anyways i don't really have much more to say about this arcade stick i do plan on getting it into my hands right around the launch of it Right, I want to get, I want to have it in hands as close to launch as possible. Hopefully, just straight up on launch day, right? On launch day, hopefully, the fucking Amazon truck right outside my work, boom, slides me that shit. Maybe I give them like, I dap them up, you know what I'm saying? And then I post it on YouTube that I open it, that I test it out on stream, and we talk about it some more. But for now, that's all the thoughts I have on it. Let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about finally having something under $100 as an entry-level arcade stick for the PS5. Is it too little too late? Is this not a high enough quality product for that $60? Ask yourself what $60 would have gotten you last generation, the generation before, maybe. Maybe that's what you're looking into. We're in a different generation, hold that. Subscribe to the channel. We're really close to 500 subscribers. I might maybe be able to make some money on YouTube. That'd be cool. And this has been Beanie Thuggish, talking about the Hori Fighting Stick Mini for PS5. Finally launching. I've been waiting for this for a while. Signing out and saying, peace.